What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we got a new video on the car I've never showed before on YouTube at least. Um, Cadillac. This was a gift. This kit was a gift from Edgar, 65 Lokes. Um, it's been in the works for a while now. It was supposed to uh, be finished for Cadillac Fest in 2018, I think. Um, <clears throat> But I figured if I finished it, like, it wasn't going to be the way I wanted it to be. Because it was going to be like a rush build. Um, so I'm glad I was, I was I didn't finish it for that show. Um, so, originally the car comes with a bench seat in the front. And I decided to split it and then make the seats into individual seats. And then when you cut the seats out the centerpiece on the inside of the seat it's kind of like it doesn't have a piece so i had to add that i had to add some styrene so i can bring it up you can kind of see where I, I didn't put enough glue right there on the bottom edge right there so i need to go over that and put more glue but i basically had to recreate this whole inside part of the seat on both so it looks like it was never cut um so those are right there. And then I also, you can see on the kit, it has a vinyl top with the trim that goes around it. And then on the top, which you can't really see. Um, but I removed that. Um, I made the back window a bit larger, like if it was a regular window. Um, <clears throat> what else? Uh, I made the sunroof slightly larger. I kind of just removed the trim that was on there, I think, and kind of made it a bit rounder up here in the front. Um, what else? The trunk is hinged, and I got it all smooth down there. It still needs some work, but it's slowly getting there. Um, I think I still need to add the trim for the back window, and then I think I'm going to go back in there and re-add that trim, but I'm not too sure on that. Um, I'm still not sure on that. Um, I need to add a little side trim right here that goes from the top to the bottom. Um, I shaved the door handles. You can see the little styrene rods I put in there to cover it up. Um, I might be bringing the door handles back. I'm not too sure. Um, I... Trying to see what else. Oh, I created this panel line right here. Um, the bumper fillers, I guess they're called. I'm not too sure what they're called, but I was being told that those needed to be added in. So I just got a scriber from Tamiya, and I did that. Um, I also shaved, sanded down the side trims a bit, the lower side trims. So if you're familiar with these colors, you I'm pretty sure you could tell the difference. But um. That got done. Um, so it looks a bit smaller and shorter. Um, what else? What else? Uh, most of the work that I've done has been inside the engine bay. I recreated a firewall. Firewall. I sanded everything off from the wheel wells. Um, and then kind of shaped them. I had to recreate that side piece right there. So I did that, and then I did the one on the floor down there. Let me see. That one down there. That was recreated. I added some plastic to the cross member right here to push it down a bit, um, just to lower the engine a bit. Um, what else? What else? I sanded. I filled in this little area. I had some little indentation right there. You can see the gray part is basically everything that got filled in. Um... What else? Uh, I'm trying to see what else I've done to the car. Um, I guess the, let me take out the seats because the rest I've done underneath uh, of the car. So let me take out the seats and then I'll show you guys the bottom part. <clears throat> oh, and then I forgot. A little bit of work has been done to the, to the hood. I extended this little piece right here because... There was like a little, it didn't go all the way back, so I kind of just extended it. 
Oh, um, that way I could put the tubing for the hinges right there. That way the tubing doesn't have to be all the way up here. I feel like it makes it kind of look weird if it's all the way up here. Um, as you can see from the from the trunk, I kind of like keeping the hinges really short. Um, but anyways, the rest of the work I've been focusing on the undercarriage lately. Um, as you can, as you guys can see, I cut out the whole middle piece of the actual frame piece. Um, not sure. Here you go. That's how I, it originally looks once it comes out of the box. Um, so I kind of, I kind of didn't really like that, so I just cut it all off, and then I'm using the interior tub for the actual undercarriage, but with the other piece still on there. Um, so I had to add this extra styrene right here because it was kind of hollowed underneath the seats so that's going to be all recreated and made to match this piece right here um i'm also thinking of cutting out this whole piece right here and recreating that just so it matches with this right here um because right here it's only going to be glued if i do it like this it's only going to be glued right here it's not going to be glued right here or else the two pieces will be together this one and this one right here and i kind of don't want that um so if i create this whole middle piece right here it's gonna work better i think um but i'm still thinking of the, on that um i'm also gonna make my own gas tank um uh, let's see i filled in this little area of the frame um i forgot why but i think it's because it has something to do when i cut out this middle piece um anyways uh i recreated this piece right here the transmission support um i kind of didn't like the old one so I kind of just made my own out of styrene and shaped it out. That's where the, the transmission is going to be sitting right there. Um, so that's that. Um, let me see if I can show you. Oh, that's how the engine bay looked. Let me show you guys a little before and after. So that's how it was basically with all the components in there. Kind of didn't really like it. It was too crowded. Um, so I kind of just sanded everything off. The firewall fell off. But that's how that looks now. And then the transmission support. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> so it was kind of just a straight piece, a rounded piece with like a little curve on one side right there. And then I kind of just made it all straight. I feel like it matches the frame more this way compared to that way. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be all worth it once it's all done. <laughs> but, um, that's the car. I'm also thinking of making my own rear end. Um, not so sure on that though. But the main focus is the undercarriage. Um, so I can get that done. And then move on into the interior. Because that's going to be another a whole other video on the, on the interior. I'm thinking of going something a little bit different um, than what I usually do. So yeah. I guess that's a little update video on this Cadillac. Not really, because I've never shown it before, but, um, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm also, uh, creating a radiator support, um, for the radiator, obviously. So that's going to go right there. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be the one, but I'm, I was just playing around with some drawings and all that, making my own sketches and all that stuff. Here's a dash. I'm still not sure if I'm going to use this dash. Um, but I just got a bunch of ideas that I want.